Hey everybody, it's your girl Sean. And it's your boy Gay C. And you're watching VK Mo's Cruise Critic. Y'all, man. We got some bad news, you guys. Stay tuned. Welcome aboard VK Mo. All right, so let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's rip off the band aid. Sean, what happened? Man, I y'all, y'all just understand. I, I always check my email every day. And I seen Carnival and I got excited. I thought they was giving me a discount, you know, get a spa done. But instead, it was a cancellation notice. And not only that it was a cancellation notice, this was our group cruise that they was canceled for uh, February 26th. So for all you guys that did book, I am so sorry that this is happening. Because I know a lot of you guys made different arrangements just to get on this group cruise. And it's just, unfortunately... You know, because of the virus, because of CDC, because of somebody, our cruise got canceled. Man, I think it's because our ship was 100% capacity. So they canceled, you know what I'm saying, to revamp the ship. All this nonsense about, oh, dry dock, come on. They just finished dry docking it with a new brand new paint. So that's my argument with it. So you already hear my voice all pissed off. I already have a bad week as it is, and we got to sit over here and figure out what to do now. So, I mean, and be and believe me, they didn't give us no perks. They didn't give us nothing extra. You know what I'm saying? They just canceled it saying, sorry, oh, well. So, I mean, that's just the whole jacked up thing. So, now I'm like, do I got to figure out new dates? Do I got to, you know, figure out about my vacation? Like, what's going to happen next? And I know a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing. Or are we going to still have a group cruise? Or what's going on? So, we definitely want to do a video let you guys know what we decide to do. So, what we did was... We went through different scenarios on what to do. We actually was going to just cancel all together, but that wouldn't have been fair to all of the vacation fam to actually put in the time and effort to want to hang out with us and join our group cruise. So what we went through is several different cruises. We started getting on it right away and stuff like that. It took a couple of days to make a dilemma on what to do. But first, for those that are on a group cruise, make sure you call your PVP to see if you can get your money back if you don't want to still go or to see if you can be able to transfer it to another cruise. But we're going to tell you what we decided to do. Yeah, so what we decided to do, we decided to choose basically another cruise that pretty much had the exact same dates. So what she mean by another cruise line? Yes, another cruise line. So we're going with Royal Caribbean. But we were, we were what took us so long, we were trying to get a cruise with the similar dates. So the people that, you know, were going to group cruise, it can be an easier switch for some of you guys. Yeah. So, Oh, and ahead. so for, for those that don't know, the last cruise we did book was an eight-day Bahama cruise. So this one is going to be a seven-day Jamaica cruise. The reason why we didn't go with Carnival was for several different reasons. One is is the port that, that they only have in Galveston is out of one ship, and it was only on the Vista. And we didn't want to go on Vista this time. Actually, it wasn't Vista. Uh, we didn't want to go to those ports because some of our, all those ports are closed and we won't be able to be selling or getting off at those uh, ships. So we didn't want to run into that. And two, it's our it's our 12-year anniversary. So every year around our anniversary, we pick a location, a different location to go to. So the last 10-year uh, 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 anniversary, we went to Belize. So uh, we didn't want to go there. So instead, like Casey was saying or explaining, we're doing a seven-night Western Caribbean cruise, and it's going to be on Royal Caribbean, Liberty of the Sea, and this way, we're going to go to Cozumel, we're going to Grand Cayman, and we're going to Jamaica, man. Hey, Jamaica. <laughs> we have fun in Jamaica. Now, speaking of that, this is still out of Galveston Port, so we're going to be cruising out about Galveston Port. But so for those that were coming in or still coming in, we are still cruising out of, out of uh, Galveston, the same weekend. It's just one day off. It's the 27th instead of the 26th yeah. of February. So this cruise is a Sunday to a Sunday. So which makes it, I know, easier for a lot of you guys. I already took those vacation days off. You don't have to change or switch your vacation. It's just switching over to the different cruise line and going ahead and booking that. So we're definitely going to post all this information in our group um on facebook groups so you guys can see it also more likely in the description down below it'll be a link to lead you over there so you guys can always dm us if you need further information on that and also too, we're going to make a video on the uh, liberty of the sea and the things we're going to do also to the adventures we're going to do when we get off the ship you know uh the excursion stuff like that so we can have a, you can have an idea of what to do or what we're going to get into. Because now we're going to do a whole new itinerary because we've got a new ship and a new uh, uh, ports that we're going to be going to. So we've got to do this all over again to help you guys out 
to make your uh, cruise a little bit easier. So even though we were bummed out about what happened, I mean, not it really bummed. Was. It was like ah, it was here pulling teeth, pulling, want to punch somebody in the face, but didn't do that. But even though all Carnival. that, <laughs> right? Even though all that did happen, um, just for a recap, this will be a seven night Western Caribbean cruise on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line on the Liberty of the Sea, and it's going to set sail from February Sunday twenty seventh to March sixth. So that's, that's the whole itinerary. And it will be going to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and also Jamaica. I'm not going to like to say that. but um. And as of right now, uh, there is a $250 deposit per person. To, uh, to, so that's $500 pretty much each room. Right now, they've been having some great deals. You know, we've seen uh, balconies as low as $500. Mm -hmm. We've seen interiors as low as $380. So it's a really good deal, you know, and for, especially for a seven-day uh, cruise. And on top of the fact that the uh, uh it's not due until November twenty eighth. Yes. So November twenty eighth is the full amount due. So we still have enough time. What's that about two and a half uh, 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 yes. um months right now? So if y'all want to jump on it, jump on it real fast because a lot of those that actually got their cancel the cruise canceled, they're moving to Royal Caribbean. You know, what I'm saying and this Vista in Galveston because you only have two. You know, Vista or or uh uh. uh you know what I'm saying? So I need to Royal, say the last is, is filling up super fast. So definitely get a move on it. On top of the fact, if you were planning on going on a group cruise with us, I know some of you guys already reached out to us and told us what some of your plans was. But make sure in the letter, it do say that you have to make a decision where if you wanted to stay on Carnival or you wanted to get a full refund back. They're willing because they cancel. They're willing to give you 100% back your refund. So And then you have until October 5th to get this done. So make yeah. sure you and that was to stupid PVP. to me. I really didn't understand how the short amount of time that you did, you can get your money back. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just told us a week ago, and that's only a week later that you're gonna be uh, was that uh, uh, September? I mean, October 5th. Mm -hmm. So you know, what I'm saying be care, be sure to call your PVP to see if you can make changes. And another like, reason, oh, I'm sorry. Another reason too, why um, we wanted to let you guys know about this because um, some vacay family reached out to us. They did not even receive an email. So we don't want this to be sprung on you on the last minute because that'll be just the most terrible thing for them to do to you to not email you and then still try to um, have you honor an October 5th deadline. So we want to make sure that you guys do know it's not a rumor This cruise has that cruise has been canceled. And I want you to do, Call Carnival ASAP and find out if your cruise has been canceled. If you're not on this cruise, you know, with us or the, or, or this cruise that we booked in our group cruise, make sure you check the group, the cruise that you are on to make sure it's not canceled. There has been many cancellations within the last couple of months and throughout this year. So make sure your cruise is not canceled. Mind you, ours was in 2022 and it was canceled. So many in 2022 and 2021 have been canceled all the way through the summer of 2022 so make sure you call and make sure don't don't rely on the app because the app is not uh, accurate do not rely on your email because they may not have sent it to you a lot of people that may have been booked through the uh, uh travel agents you know what I'm saying? travel agents have not been sending them out to you guys because the uh the cruise lines have been uh, relying on the travel agents to actually send the emails so make sure you find out directly from carnival yes, yes or no if your cruise is being uh, uh, not selling on those dates because even one of our vacay family that's in the whole travel industry as well um some of these agents haven't even been getting the email themselves so they weren't even aware what was even going on so make sure it's always best to go to the source and call them yourself and find out what's going on exactly with your cruise especially if you're not selling vista because eventually vista is going to be the only cruise line that's going to be going out of galaxy <laughs> so like we for example we were on the dream and so there's many other ships you know that was leaving out at the time so make sure if you're not on, you know, on like watery ground, right, right. go ahead and call. So them. yeah, right now, you know, what I'm saying it's a Russian roulette with these cruise ships. So right now, it's better to be safe than sorry. We can be so busy that you know, what I'm saying we don't even check and see our email. It might be in there, and if it's not in there, you definitely have to check to make sure that your cruising is still selling. Because uh, this has happened in the past where some people have showed up at the docks and their ship was not there because they didn't get the email or they didn't get an email at all and they weren't informed. And highly, they were highly upset. They actually flew in hot. and no ship and expected a cruise. I mean, I know we're dealing with this dumb, you know, saying vaccination and then getting, you know, say how to be tested, pre tested, stuff like that. Now we got to deal with not being informed about, you know, saying if our cruise is canceled or not. So keep checking every single day or every other day. 
to be informed. And if y'all got a great PvP to keep y'all informed, make sure you let him know or she let, let her know that you know what I'm saying keep you informed of any latest changes, even updates or upgrades on your ship. Yeah, so you guys um definitely do all the above to make sure you can still go cruising. Um Please, if you guys, it's going to be fun, join us, you know, come on over to Liberty of the Sea on our new group cruise, our new dates, everything will be linked below for you guys, and um, hope to see you there. Yeah, and I know it's a little bit of an inconvenience to switch different ships and stuff like that, but for us, we're tired of the cancellations, and we want to try something new, it's a new ship for us, at the same time, it's a new adventure and experience. You know, I really love our uh, Royal Caribbean, so, I, you know, I don't mind getting on the ship, you know what I'm saying? For those who want to try out, or you know what I'm saying, if y'all new to our channel and want to come over to Royal Caribbean and try it out, we're we are not biased to any ship. We go on everything. So come on through. We're gonna have fun and we're gonna turn up, you guys. <laughs> it's your girl Sean. And it's your boy KC. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>